Greetings everyone and welcome back. Here's something fun and useful. In essence, the delete button Excel is a macro pad with a single button that is configured to execute the delete command. The objective was to design a unique or unconventional macro pad with a single button that would be used to execute the delete command. This button would allow you to erase anything by simply hitting it. Using the delete option, we attempted to remove a few of unwanted images. <laughs> the body is designed to function and seem as a single mechanical key on a mechanical keyboard. We put four springs in the interior of the macro pad which, like the mechanical key, provide a little resistance when pressed. The model was created in Fusion 360 and the Switch PCB and Xiao microcontroller breakout board were reused from a previous project. And we integrated them both in the 3D model and bent the model around them. Making the 3D model for this project was relatively straightforward. First, we imported the step files of Xiao breakout board and button PCB that were previously created for the Super NES project. The switch PCB was positioned in the center and we modeled a box-like body around it that would serve as the macro pad's main lower body. In order to attach the keypad to the body, we utilized four M3 bolts and four springs. We also created an additional body onto which we installed the switch PCB. This section will also have four holes. The design operation was straightforward. When the keycap is pressed, the spring that is attached to each M3 bolt is compressed, pressing the entire assembly downward to produce a noticeable resistance. On top of the keycap, we have also modeled a delete logo that will be printed in two colors, black and translucent. After model was finished, we exported the mesh file and used orange PLA and black PLA to print the files. This gave the finished prototype a nice dual color appearance. We use our previously made switch PCB and Xiao breakout board PCB for this project. Both were utilized in Super NES project, but let me briefly review the way that they were made. The switch PCB is made up of a single switch with four CON1 ports two of which are linked to one terminal of switch and two to another. The board outline and the location of switches were both taken from the CAD file. A Xiao board and two CON7 port, each of which are coupled to Xiao GPIO, make up the Xiao PCB. Similar to the switch PCB, we have added mounting holes and followed the CAD files for the shape and Xiao placement. Following the completion of board design, we ordered both PCBs in white solder mask and black cell screen and submitted the PCB's Gerba data on PCB waste code page. PCBs were received within a week and the PCB quality was outstanding. Also, PCB Way is hosting its 7th project design contest, a global competition that invites electronics enthusiasts, engineers and makers to showcase their innovative projects. This year's competition includes three major categories electronics project, mechanical project, and STM32 project. With prize awarded for the most exceptional design, the contest aimed to inspire and support innovation, making it an exciting opportunity for both professionals and hobbies to gain recognition and connect with like-minded creators. You guys can check out PCV Way if you want great PCV service at an affordable rate and low price. The PCB assembly process was pretty basic. We began by assembling the switch PCB which require a simple push button which we position and soldered from the board's bottom side. After that we began the Xiao breakout board construction process by positioning the CON7 female header pin in their proper location and soldering their pad from the PCB's bottom side. At last we add Xiao M0 in its place using the header pins. In order to begin the body construction process, we place the switch circuit holder part on top of the lower frame using M2 screws. This process begins by installation of 4 M3 bolt in the spring mechanism's part mounting holes. Next, the spring mechanism part is inserted into the keycap and the two are joined together using M2 screws. Next, we inserted a spring into each M3 bolt. 
The spring is taken from an old Ender A8 3D printer's bed assembly and the keycap assembly is essentially made using the same mechanism as the 3D printer bed. By positioning the frame assembly above the keycap and allowing the bolt to pass through its four mounting holes, we are now able to connect the frame assembly with the button actuator. Then, in order to connect the button assembly and frame assembly, we attach 4 M3 nuts to each M3 bolt. We added additional 4 M3 nuts to ensure that everything was stationary and tight, and they tightened against one another to prevent them from coming free. Now the Xiao breakout board is positioned and fastened within the frame assembly with two M2.5 screws. The switch PCB is then positioned at center of the frame assembly and is secure in its place using two M2.5 screws. Now both circuit are in their proper position. In order to complete this project, we use a soldering iron to connect a wire between the D0 pin of Xiao and one of the switch terminals. Then we connected a wire between the switch other terminal and the Xiao's ground. In essence, this configuration is a switch connected to D0 of Xiao and ground. We next install the lid on the frame assembly bottom side and fasten it there using four M2 screws. Finally, we take the dual color delete logo section and position it on top of the keycap. The delete logo is placed on the keycap after super glue has been applied on top of it to secure it in place. Now here's the main code that was used in this build. This code set up a button on GPIO 0 and send a delete key press when button is pressed. The delay help debounce the button to avoid multiple signal being sent for a single button press. We try to delete some undesirable images from our computer by plugging in the delete button. Because of the spring, the configuration is perfect and there is a tiny resistance to the key press when using this device. It can delete anything, included files, images and any selected text. It can even be used as a delete macro pad and CAD application or other editing programs. Overall, this project was finished and required no further revision. In addition, we appreciate PCB waste support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.